Here we go, Joe. Uh, yep. So we're going to solve this problem using Laplace. And if you remember the procedure, we said before, we're going to take this circuit, which is right now we are in time domain. We're going to change that to Laplace. We're going to solve it in Laplace. Then we need to switch it back to time domain. And this is the inverse Laplace. That's how the process is going to be for all these. You have a circuit in time domain. It might take a little bit longer to solve it, so we'll switch it to Laplace by using Laplace transform. Solve it in Laplace. Use the inverse Laplace to change it back to time domain. Which means, first thing first, I need to find the initial conditions. I need to find the current through that as zero minus, and the voltage across the capacitor as zero minus. I need both of these. Why? Why do I need them? Because right here, when you switch to Laplace, you will need to know the current through the inductor is zero minus. Can you see that source there? Or right here? And you also need the voltage across the capacitor as zero minus. Well, we're lucky in this example because both of these are going to be zero. So if we look at the circuit for T less than zero, this source is out. This does not kick in until T equals to zero. So is that source. So you do not have any sources for T less than zero. This is what your circuit looks like. That means Vc at zero minus is equal to zero. I sub L at zero minus is also equal to zero. <coughs> That's the first thing. Now let's change the circuit from time to Laplace. Or complex frequency. What is the Laplace of 4e to the negative 2t? Four is a constant. What's the Laplace of e to the minus 2t? Isn't that 1 over s plus 2? The capacitor, I can use either circuit, and I'll put them in. For the capacitor, I'm going to put a value of 1 over SC. I'll come back and put the values in. And plus to minus, this will be a negative. Negative, oh, for the capacitor, plus, I mean, that's a plus. The inductor is the minus. Uh-oh. I don't, so that's a plus. I don't have an eraser today. What about your uh, oh, I left another room. Thank you. The resistor will stay the same. And this one SL and this is plus to minus the value negative L I sub zero minus. Thank you. And the Laplace of this again. 2 times 1 over S plus 2.
plug in the values now in it. 4 over S plus 2. 1 over S C. C is what? 1 third? Is that 3 over S? 1 over S C. It should be 3 over S. This is zero, right? So that's gone. 10, SL, 4S, I sub zero, zero, that's gone. Minus to plus, two over S plus two. So we convert the circuit from time to complex frequency, to Laplace, basically. Step number one is done. We did the conversion. That's the first step. Take it from time to complex, we did. Let's solve it now here. Uh, what was the question here? I forgot. What is I sub 1 and I sub 2? So I sub 1. I got excited about the problem. I forgot to ask the question. What is I sub 1 and I sub 2? So here's I sub 1. Now we in complex frequencies, capital I. And this is I sub 2. Let's solve the circuit now in Laplace. All the stuff we learned, circuit one and circuit two is still good. We can do KVL here. Sum of the voltage in a closed loop is zero. Let's try this one. KVL loop one. Right here. That's a negative four over S plus two plus 3 over S times I sub 1 plus 10 times what? I sub 1 minus I sub 2. Clean it. 10 plus 3 over S times I sub 1 minus 10 times I sub 2 is equal to 4 over S plus 2. That's equation number 1, EQ1. Now let's do another KVL on this side to make sure you see it. Here we go. KVL loop 2 right here. Minus 2 plus is a minus 2 over S plus 2 plus 10 times I sub 2 minus I sub 1 plus what? 4S times I sub 2 is equal to 0. Negative 10 I sub 1 plus 10 plus 4S times I sub 2 is equal to what? 2 over S plus 2. And that's your second equation. And now I get two equations by two unknowns. I need to solve them. I'm going to need your help with the calculator. Adam has mine from last test. Oh, I, thought, I thought he gave it back. He did? Maybe in the math center then. Okay. 
So I get two equations by two unknowns. I can solve for one of the unknowns. So if I want to solve for I sub 1 here, I can solve for I sub 1 and this one and go back and plug it into the other one. Negative um, 10 I sub 1 is equal to 2 over S plus 2 minus 10 plus 4S times I sub 2. I sub 1 you divide by 10. Divide each one by 10, by negative 10 actually. This becomes a plus. 10 over 10 is 1 plus 0.4S I sub 2. This becomes a minus. That's one-fifth, that's point two. So I divide it by negative 10. By, it makes this plus, it makes this a negative. 10 by 10 is 1. 4s by 10 is point 0.4. 2 by 10 is point 0.2. That's point 0.4? That's point 0.4s, yes. Because I divide it by 10. Now I can go back to equation number one and plug in I sub one, replace I sub one with this. I'm using substitution. This equation number one. So 10 plus three over S times I sub one And this is going to be fun now, the math. Hmm. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm not a fan of fractions. I'm not a fan of fractions. So let's multiply everything by S times S plus 2. S times S plus 2, the entire thing. Why S times S plus 2? LCDs. Oh, because, okay. These are two little fractions. Yeah. yeah. So <coughs> now, let's look at that piece, just this piece. S will cancel the S. That'll be 10S plus 3 times S plus 2 times 1 plus 0.4S I sub 2 minus. So this one times this. This one times that. Is that a point to S? Minus this times that. That will be 10 S S plus 2 I sub 2 equals. Is that 4 S? Okay, I think we're good. That's 4s. Move this one here. That becomes a plus 4.2s equals. This is going to be interesting here. 
10s times s is what? 10s squared. 20s and 3, 23s. And 3 times 2 is 6. I'll come back to it in a minute there. Ten S times that's ten S squared. I'm factoring the minus sign outside. Twenty S. Beautiful. This one, the TI eighty nine comes in handy because you can type the whole expression. We'll give you the answer. Just write it in the way you see. Just leave factor out the I sub 2. If you write 10s plus 3 times s plus 2 times 1 plus 0.4s minus 10s times s plus 2, it does all of that in one shot. Okay. And I can literally just put in the, the letter s? Yep. I use x. Can I see that? Yeah. Sure. sure. I'm going to show you. Assuming this is the section. Yep. That's a TIA 9. Oh, uh, let's get out of this. I wasn't sure if I was in the right. Quit. Just go to um, home or app service. I'm going to take it out of this. Let's uh, go out of this. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go to where's calculator. I just want to go to calculator. No, there's a button here. Okay. There here we go. If you just write the expression like this, 10, where's the variable x? x. You can use x, s, plus 3 times x plus 2 times, I don't know if I need to put the times, I will know that, 1 plus 0.4x minus 10s times s plus 2, 10x times x plus 2 equals Escape. Invalid. Maybe I need to escape. Let's go back, put the times between them. Probably didn't know. Times. Here we go. Let's put the times. 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 That was the answer. So it did the whole thing for me. And this is what I have. I have four times s plus 2 s squared plus 0.3 s plus 0.75 i sub 2 is equal to 4.2s. Now divide everything by all of this. I sub 2 equals. What's 4.2 divided by 4? 4.2 divided by 4, 1.05, s over s plus 2, s squared plus 0.3s plus We can do I sub 1 here because we know what I sub 1 is. So, what is I sub 1? It's 1 plus 0.4s times I sub 2 minus 0.2 over s plus 2. 
And if I cheat and I use the TI-89, so I don't have to plug in all this stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, this was, okay. If you didn't clear, it should be in the past. Yep, I have it there, yep, I'm gonna do that. Uh, one plus 0.4x times times 4.2x divided by all of this, the four times, good, minus 0 0.2 divided by x plus 2. It left it the way it is. Didn't like it. Oh, um, sometimes you can do uh, the green button and then enter, and it'll give you like an approximate answer. Green, well, there's no, I know, but this is. That's different? You no. Know, I'll take the answer from you if you do the math by hand. But according to the book, I sub 1 equals 2s times 4s squared plus 19s plus 20 over 20s to the fourth plus 66s cubed plus 73s squared plus 57s Plus three. Maybe that's why I don't like it. They couldn't even simplify it more. Was it inverse Laplace this? Yeah, you're supposed to take the inverse Laplace. How come I2 looks different from what we have? Because we divide by four and everything. They didn't divide by the numbers, you know? Okay. Simplified and everything. Yeah, sometimes the math gets ugly. Assuming these are the correct ones. I'll go for I sub two. Find, find that. I'll find where I sub two is, and I'll go through it. How do you find the inverse Laplace? That's step number three. I got to take the inverse Laplace of I sub two. That's an easier one to find. Well, easier than this one. I didn't say easy. Easier. So I can write that a over s plus. Well, before I do that. Let's find if there's complex roots here because we covered that last time. And now I'm going to see if I can factor that. So let me go to the side here and factor this. minus b minus point three plus or minus the square root i'm solving it here b squared minus four times a times c divided by two a negative point three plus or minus what are we plus or minus point 0.3 squared minus 4 times point 0.75 that's a negative 2.91 It's an I, so the square root of that 
negative 0.3 plus or minus 1.706i divided by 2. Divide that, that's negative point, was it 1.5? Plus or minus, what is 1.7 divided by 2? 0.85? So we can write that we can write that S plus 0.15 minus 0.85i S plus 0.15 plus 0.85i If you look at our notes from that last class, the one before, might have actually a little thing here. If you look at the notes from last class, you have a complex root, and it says if you have a complex root, I know I have it written there somewhere. Let me get my notes in that room. I hate being in this room. That's what we did last time. And the complex root says, if you have something like this, I'll put it in blue here. Complex root. If you have an expression here over a complex root, then you can write that K1 over S plus alpha minus J beta. That's this one. And the other one will be K1 conjugate. The answer to that, it's going to be the answer is going to be two times the magnitude of K1 times e to the minus alpha t cosine beta t plus theta. Now what is theta here? When you solve for K1 and K1 conjugate, you're going to find this will have a magnitude of K1 and has an angle of e to the j theta. And this will be K1 since that's the conjugate. e to the negative j theta. So theta is that answer when we solve for actually what k1 is. So let's apply that and see what the answer to this one. Let me solve, take this expression now for i sub 2 and break it down. So I sub 2, I can break it down to some A over S plus 2 plus K over S plus 0.15 minus 0.85I K conjugate over S plus 0.15 plus 0.85I. These are my complex roots. To find A, straightforward. Notice this was the expression. 
A sitting on top of what? S plus 2. So you take S plus 2 out of this. So what's left? 1.05S over S squared plus 0.3S plus 0.75 when S equals what? Negative two, very good. I didn't even check to see if we made a mistake in that equation. If we did, I'm leaving it. The algebra part, I mean. That's a negative 2.1 on the top over, that'd be a negative, uh, that's a four, minus 0.3 times two, plus 0.75. That's a negative half. And what about K? K is sitting on top of this one. So here we go. Let's look at this expression. K is sitting on top of this. So this piece here is going to go. So it's 1.05. Adjustment when we start the quadratic. So yeah. Like they got negative 0.5. Yep. Take the number. Well, because that's S equal to. Oh. So to make it a factor, you got to move everything to this side, right? So that becomes a plus, and one of these becomes a plus, one becomes a minus. So 1.05s divided by s plus 2 times, again, k is sitting on top of this one. Where was it? So this has to go. So what's left this one? s plus 0.15s, oh, point. I forgot to write that. Uh, the point 0.15 here, that's correct. And plus 0.85i. When s equals what? What value will make this one zero? This piece. Or what value will make this one zero? Isn't that negative 0.15 plus 0.85i? So plug it in. That's what S is equal to. S is this number. Add to it 2. What's 2 minus 1.5? Is that 1.85? And this will cancel the points. So there will be two of these. 2 times 0 0.85, which is what? 1.7? I think it's 1.7. So let's see what we have here. Now I forgot how to use the 89. Let me just see F18. Get rid of everything. 1.05, 1 point, oh, I already screwed this up, I wrote 1 minus, 1.05 oh, times negative 0.15 plus 0.85, and I, where is the I button here? Is it right over 9, or maybe not? I think that's semicolon, over 9. Should be, it's not up there. It's right over there. Right over there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I divided by parentheses, parentheses, 1.85 plus 0.85. That close that times 1.70i. Close that, close that. And it says here, 
two if you want. Angle roughly negative 14.7 degrees. Okay, we got it. We're in good shape. Last piece. I sub 2, A, what's A? Negative 0.5, I'll put it outside. 1 over S plus 2, plus K1, which is 0.262, angle negative 14.7, over S plus 0.15, plus 0.85I, plus K1 conjugate, which is 0.262, angle 14.7 this actually a minus here not a plus the first one second one is the plus where'd you go there we go that's a minus the next one's the plus and now it's going to take the inverse Laplace of that so the last step now, what's the inverse Laplace? Remember, solve it, that's the process. Switch it to time. Where's Donna? What are you doing, Donna? Donna? It's Donna you're looking at. <laughs> solve it in Laplace, then change it back to time. Let me change it back to time. So change it back to time, we're going to have what? Negative 0.5 e to the minus 2t, that's the inverse Laplace of that. This will be <coughs> 2 times 0 0.262, that's that number, that's k, remember we just talked about that? What is that equation? I just wrote. e to the minus alpha t, e to the minus 0.15t, alpha is this guy, Cosine beta, that's this number, 0.85 t minus the 14.7 degrees, because that's what theta is. So we have two solutions to that. All of this u sub t, because remember, this circuit has really nothing till u sub t. That's i sub 2 as a function of t. And that's how we have to handle each problem. We got to go through all these steps. You just have to hope that you end up with the easier expression than some of these. Now, if I had to do I sub 1 here, according to our book, this is really what the bottom, what I sub 1 is, I am in trouble. I want to have to factor it. So I got to cheat. Probably my go to Mathematica. My algebra came out a lot differently than yours. Is it? Yeah, it could be. So that might make it easier. But I hope, yeah, I'll probably screw things up things with things. it. Well, what'd you get there? For I2, I ended up with 6s plus 0.6 over uh, the 4s squared plus 1.2s mm. times s plus 2. That's my oh. equation. Tom said for I sub 2, he got this one. Let me see, Tom, what'd you get? I sub 2, he did his algebra as a function of s. What did you get? Uh, equals 6s plus. 0.6 over like 4s squared plus 1.2s times s plus 2. Uh, the 1.2s is times s plus 2, not the whole thing. Oh, oh okay. <coughs> so our exam, are we just going to have a 2 of these on it? <laughs> S plus, he, he got this expression, he said. That's what Tom got. So you can look at this as repeated roots, you know? Or if you multiply it out. 
4s squared plus, that would be 1.2s squared plus what? 4 point, or 2.4, right? 2.4s. Actually, that would be a lot easier if that's what you got there, if that was correct. 2.4s. If you do that, you'll have 5.2s squared plus 2.4s we can divide everything by 5.2 just to make that number one if you divide every one of them by 5.2 what is 6 divided by 5.2 1.154 s plus 0.154 over s squared plus 0.46s. And you can rewrite that in the bottom, s times s plus 0.46. So if Tom was right on his algebra, this is I sub 2, which will make the math now a little bit easier because that will be A over S plus B over what? S plus 0.46. Um, when you did the 0.6, wouldn't that be 0.1, 1, 1, 1, yep. Yep. 1, 1, 5, 4. Yep. Thank you. So now we just got to go through that and find what A is. A sitting on top of S, you take S out of this picture, 1.154S plus 0.1154 over S plus 0.46, and you want that when S equals to 0, 0 0.1154, oh, 0.1154 divided by 0 0.46, 0 0.25. And to get B, B is sitting on top of S plus 0.46, when S equals negative 0.46. which is the top, negative 0.415. The bottom is negative 0.46.9. So the answer will be I sub 2 as a function of S, which is 0.25 over S plus 0.9 over s plus 0.46, which means I sub 2 as a function of time. S squared plus 0.46, right? Where's s squared? Nope, I factor an s out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Simple distinct root. Yep. Right. So the inverse Laplace of this, that's 0.25 plus 0.9 e to the minus 0.46 and that's use of t. So if Tom is right, that'll be the answer. Is there a t at the e to the negative point? Yes, t.